What's up everybody, welcome to a new YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about cu creating customized skateboards on Zazzle.com. I know I haven't made a lot of tutorials on Zazzle.com, but here we go. Today, this is going to be a good icebreaker for a lot of people who haven't started on Zazzle and want to get started. So, it, the process is really simple. You're going to have to start by creating a store and getting all the preliminary stuff done. So, if you haven't done that already, pause the video, go do that, go create an account, go create a store, you know, go create your username, your store banner, your user profile, get all that done. Obviously, you're not going to complete all of Z-Rank today, assuming that, you know, you want to create your products first. In fact, you actually have a requirement on Z-Rank to create some products and favorite some products before you could actually be completed with Z-Rank. And Z-Rank, for those who don't know, is Zazzle's, I guess you could say, way of uh, blessing you in the algorithm. Put it that way. All right. So complete that first. Complete all the basic preliminary stuff, the, the profile, the user profile, the, the, the banner, the, the store name, all that kind of cool stuff. And now let's go ahead and jump into actual creation of the products. So let's head over here to Zazzle and go over here to the left hand side. You're going to see a button that says sell. All right. Click on this button. Now, if you want to create other products, go ahead and do so. I'm going to go ahead and create a skateboard. It's interesting to me. It's not relatively new. It's actually been around for a little while now. Uh, if you sell on Zazzle, you know what I'm talking about. But it's definitely new to this YouTube channel. We haven't talked about it before. So let's go ahead and go over the bit, the skateboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our new design. So if you look here on the right-hand side, it specifically says designed by you. I want you to be aware, guys, that we cannot go on other people's products and design their product. We cannot. The reason why is because you're not going to get the commissions for that, and it's not going to actually count as a design that you can sell. So you need to go over here on a fresh new design, right, specifically through the sell category. Select any product. Like I said, for us, it's going to be a skateboard. We go over here and hit add image, okay? Now what you're going to do is you have the ability on the Zazzle, I guess you could say editor, because this does look like an editor, kind of reminds me of Canva, to create your own design for your specific product. Now, the cool thing about this is that this doesn't cost you any money to join or anything like that. Now, it would be nice if you would be able to export your designs, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's all Zazzle's property at the end of the day. So now what we're going to do is we need to have some sort of art, some sort of graphics for our skateboard. In fact, we can actually go online and search for some inspiration, and we could just type in skateboard on Google and we can see that there are different you know various different designs we could even look on Amazon you could see here a design like this uh, you know all these kind of crazy different colorful designs and that could create some inspiration for us so let's go over here and head back to Zazzle and I actually have a background image here that I'm gonna use and it's something that I you know kind of like I enjoy I'm just gonna enlarge it now for those who want to know where I got this background image I custom made it I'll leave the link in the description on my website if you want to get some of these custom made colors and backgrounds and things like that um, but yeah so anyway so you're gonna have to custom create your kind of graphics your art things like that so I have this custom made graphic it has like these pink and blue lines on them with a little bit of like distress and things like that so it looks pretty decent now I want to add a customization feature to the product so a lot of the times when you create your product on Zazzle um, you're going to have to add different elements that will be make it customizable don't get me wrong if I try to sell it like this it might sell but I'm really kind of decreasing my chances right I want to give myself the best chance possible that it will sell well I know based on my own knowledge that Zazzle is a platform that is a highly customizable platform customers want to go on the website they want to you know customize the product so let's go over here and add text and what I want to do is I want to type in your name or it could be any name really and it doesn't really matter what I write here it's gonna be irrelevant for now and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this 100 and or essentially 90 degrees I was gonna say 180 but it's really 90 right and the your name section doesn't have to say your name I just couldn't think of a name right now um, but we're gonna go and scroll down here and we're gonna select make objects a template right M or make this object a template and so this object right now is going to be a template object and really what that means is that it can change at any time and so the label is going to be your name. When customers see this product, I want them to be able to realize that they can add their name here. And URL name parameter doesn't really matter. Just leave that the way it is. 
and we could just also just take a look here make objects permanent and always visible um, this you don't want to click on this unless it's like some sort of image that you're gonna add or something like that but this is something that is going to um, be edited essentially right and now what I want to do is I want to make this a little more visible because this is invisible so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna change the font let's go ahead and look at some you know kinda cool font here maybe font like this nope that's too thin something like this and we want it to stand out right so because the way that the the design is on the skateboard um, it's it might not be as visible right so we have something enlarged now and we have some white text so now it's much more visible in fact, I could actually make this smaller. And like I said, this is just an example. It's not necessarily, you don't have to do everything exactly like this. You can be comfortable with changing it your own kind of way. And I clicked here on the bottom, and these are just examples of how the uh, the design looks like. And so I could change what's ever written here. So I can write Andrew, for example, like somebody's name, right? So people know who's, you know, it's a name. And so what I could do also when I'm finished and I decide that I'm completed, I can go over here and just also make sure that it's somewhat center. You don't want to have it too, you know, you don't want to have it um, essentially out, uh, out aligned and it's completed. Now you could see here that there are different things that you could do. So here, you know, people can purchase different things and, uh, you know, have different uh, abilities and things like that. But you could see here, people are allowed to now buy this product right they're they're allowed to do that and so um, that's something you want to keep in mind when you're selling these skateboards or you're selling any other customized product try to add an element of customization to your product alright so that's that's definitely gonna help and we're just gonna go over here and hit done here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click sell it okay and now what we can do is we can give some names some information all that kind of stuff to it since this is only a design video I'm not gonna go ahead and include this I I've shown how to do stuff like this um, in the uh, other videos that I posted on Zazzle and I only posted a few but